Disturbing allegations of discipline tonight from a North Texas daycare. Parents of a young boy say daycare workers used thumbtacks as barbaric punishment. NBC 5's Randy McElwain is live in Addison with the story. Randy? Jane, they're talking about one specific teacher in, in particular that was fired from this daycare, but they do say that she was using some bizarre forms of corporal punishment. Just looking into Brandon Medlock Jr.'s face probably brings a smile to yours, which makes it even harder to understand how anyone could abuse him. We never did think that our son be getting, that was being tortured at a, a daycare facility. It is a stunning accusation Brandon's parents have made in the form of a lawsuit against the Knowledge Learning Corporation, the owners of Kinder Care Learning Center in Addison. There were punctures and little scabs on his back. That we would notice uh, as we was bathing him. Brandon's parents chalked the marks up to toddler roughhousing until they were contacted by a whistleblower working at the daycare. On March 20th, we received a phone call from a former employee. She was a teacher's assistant. She told Brandon's parents that a teacher referred to as Erica in the lawsuit was disciplining their son and other toddlers by poking them in their backs with thumbtacks, a punishment called stick stick. Well, we took him up to a bulletin board and asked him, what is this? And he pointed straight at the thumbtacks and called it a stick stick. They have an unbelievable past history. History and, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. According to CPS, Kinder Care Learning Center has 22 confirmed violations based on complaints in the last 13 months. Contacts. Brandon's parents say the signs were there, but it took a caring employee to literally connect the dots. We never thought that it would have been cruelty by the teachers. We contacted Kinder Care Learning Center's parent company about the allegations for a response. They say that they have not seen the lawsuit yet and will not make a comment at this time. Reporting live in Addison, Randy McElwain, NBC5. Thanks, Randy. We've got new information.